welcome to Family Table, a devotional by P Squared Productions. I'm Tim. I'm Patty. Pastor Tim. And welcome to our Family Time Devotions. Uh, today we're going to read from a book we don't very often read from, a book called Leviticus, Leviticus chapter 6. The third book of the Bible. Verses 1 to 6. Okay. God spoke to Moses. When anyone sins by betraying trust with God... By deceiving his neighbor regarding something entrusted to him, or by robbing or cheating or threatening him, or if he has found something lost and lies about it and swears falsely regarding any of these sins that people commonly commit, when he sins and is found guilty, he must return what he stole or extorted, restore what was entrusted to him, return the lost thing he found, or anything else about which he swore falsely. He must make full compensation add 20% to it, hand it over to the owner on the same day he brings his compensation offering. He must present, present to God as his compensation offering a ram without any defect from the flock, assessed at the value of the compensation offering. That is a lot to unpack, but basically if you sin against someone, if you steal something, if you harm someone, if you, I forget what there was another one. I can't remember what the third one thing was. It's find something, find you something don't that's not yours. It. Yeah. yeah. Uh, if you do any of these things, you are to make a sacrifice, an offering to in the temple with the priest uh, to make yourself right with God. And you're also supposed to then uh, make yourself right with your neighbor. Whether if you stole something, you give it back. If you found something that's his, give it back. If you hurt someone, you try to repair the hurt as much as you can. And basically, when you sin against someone, you should fix it. Right. So have <laughs> you at home ever done something wrong to someone? Or has ever anyone ever done something wrong to you on the flip side? Did you ask that person for forgiveness? Or on the flip side, did they ask you for forgiveness? Because God's word tells us that if our sin hurts another person, our sin always hurts God, so we should always ask God for forgiveness. But if our sin hurts another person, like a brother, a sister, a mom, a dad, a friend, a relative, whoever it might be, classmate at school, uh, then we are to do our best to make that person not hurt anymore, to give back what you stole, to uh, heal what you broke as much as possible, but most importantly, to ask them to forgive you. So in our Old Testament reading, God's people had to make sacrifices. So when they talked about that um, com compensation offering, that was a sacrifice that they had to take to the temple. And then it, it was burnt. It was usually an animal of some sort, a ram, a dove. Different, there were different offerings for different things. And they had to take that offering and put it on, and the priest would put it on an altar. And then it would be burned and the offering would be go up to the Lord. And that's how they had to offer sacrifice. Well, we don't do that anymore, obviously. We don't have goats or rams or bulls or mm -hmm. sheep or anything sacrificed on our altar. We have an altar still. But our altar is now replaced. Usually there's a cross on it or a cross above it uh, because Christ came and made the ultimate sacrifice for us so we don't have to make those sacrifices anymore. He was the very Lamb of God who would take away the sins of the world. But we still have to make things right with other people. Um, all we have to do to make things right with God is go to him and tell him we're sorry. And he forgives us. But we still have to make things right with other people. Yeah. And even if it's hard or embarrassing or whatever it might be, costly, um, to replace something you broke... Uh, God wants us to do that. That's the appropriate response as Christians. Yes. It can be really embarrassing to go to somebody and say, Hey, honey, I took $10 out of your wallet without asking. I didn't even know I had $10, but thank you for <laughs> uh, apologizing. So, yeah. So, things like that can be really embarrassing. We make it silly, but if you have to go tell a friend at school that you took something out of their locker, that can be really embarrassing. Or you broke their favorite toy or whatever it yeah. might be. Yeah. So, tonight, uh, when you pray, uh, or whenever you pray as a family, I want you to pray uh, for each one of your family uh, for confessing your sins, confessing something maybe you did wrong today. Uh, maybe take turns and saying, hey, I'm sorry I you know, locked you out of the bathroom, or <laughs> I whatever, took your favorite blanket, whatever it might be. And those are kind of silly examples, but maybe you said a hurtful word. 
Uh, maybe you didn't obey your parents. Or... Maybe you stuck your tongue out at your mom when she turned her back. Yeah, anything like that. Ask them for forgiveness. And then practice that forgiveness. Say, hey, I'm sorry. If you took something from your brother or sister, give it back. Um, yeah, things like that. So just spend some time uh, confessing and forgiving one another as a family. And then praying uh, God's peace be upon you. Yes. So that's your project for tonight. All right. We will see you again next time. Bye. If you like these videos, uh, real quick, I almost forgot. Uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel, P-Squared Productions. Just search P2 Productions and it should pop up. If you like this video, click the like button uh, and share it with whoever you would like. And we like to have this message spread to whoever uh, could use it. We will see you again next time.